Mexico is recovering from a huge jolt on Tuesday. An earthquake with a magnitude 7.4 hit the southern coast. It was felt some 200 miles away in Mexico City, where Monica Villamizar has an update for us now on the quake and on the cleanup. Good morning. Well, Tuesday's earthquake affected most of southern Mexico, startling residents here in the capital city and tourists in one of the most well-known resort towns, Acapulco. So far, there's only been 11 injuries reported. And as you know, with any earthquake of this magnitude, the aftershocks remain a constant threat. Frightened office workers were sent streaming into the streets of Mexico City after a powerful earthquake struck the country's southern region just minutes after 12 in the afternoon. This worker said it was very strong. The lights started swinging and the photocopiers also started sliding back and forth in the office. The tremor caused a pedestrian bridge to collapse on top of an empty transit bus, while a major woman's hospital was forced to evacuate patients. Phone and power service was briefly shut down in the capital and neighboring state of Oaxaca. Officials said 800 homes were reported damaged. Another 60 completely collapsed. Older buildings and buildings not constructed with earthquakes in mind can, could collapse. Uh, but most buildings which are designed for earthquakes uh, would survive and it would be interior damage or maybe cracks. The quake's epicenter was located 11 miles underground in the state of Guerrero, near the resort town of Acapulco. There, panicked tourists emptied cars and hotels as the ground shook for more than a minute. We were on the 20th floor and everything started shaking and the We're windows here. were shaking and I sat on the floor and I'm, it was very scary. <laughs> I've never felt nothing like that before. Earthquakes are not uncommon in the region. In 1985, Mexico City was struck by a series of devastating quakes that claimed the lives of over 10,000 people. Even though no deaths were reported from Tuesday's tremblor, the looming threat of aftershocks has kept the country on high alert. And President Obama's 13-year-old daughter Malia is in Mexico on a school trip in the earthquake zone. But the White House has confirmed that she is safe and that she was never in any sort of danger. For CBS This Morning, I'm Monica Villamizar in Mexico City.